Hi YouTubers, good morning. I want to talk about an old, really old trolling motor and how cool they are and how easy it is to reverse the head on them. And I'll also just open them up and work on them if you need to. This is a uh, Shakespeare. It's a 12 pound thrust, so it's very low power, but I'm only using it on a really small light boat. And in fact, this one is going to go on the smallest boat I've ever had. It's the six foot inflatable Intex 200. Weighs about three pounds. The motor weighs about eight pounds, so the motor weighs more than the boat. But <laughs> the uh, this was like I bought back 20 years ago, but it was old even back then. But it still works fine. It has high and a low, and forward reverse. Here you can you can see the magnificent, powerful propeller turning. <laughs> but it'll get up and go. Um, but the cool thing was to design how easy it is to take the head off if you have to reverse this because I want to put it on the front of my trolling or off front of my my little inflatable so I have reversed it but it's so easy there's just a little pin here it it you just twist it with the pliers I don't know if you can see there and boop, boop, and then pop it out let me do that put this on pause Okay, I removed the pin, or I loosened it here. This is the pin. There's no threads. It just pops in. You wouldn't want to do this over and over because you'd wallow out the hole. It just goes into plastic. But the top comes off, and you can see the pin goes through this hole in, in the uh, top of the plastic. Head. It's such an interesting, uh, simple, sweet design. Whoever d designed it did a really good job. And then you have access to your, your control switches. If you wanted to modify or run some wires to it, it's very simple. And then if you want to twist it, you can turn this around to where it's front mounted. Or, or but like it's, it's situated normally like it would be. This is set up now to be mounted on the bow because it's pointing that way but if you want to do like a normal trolling motor you turn it around and put the pin in because there's holes on both sides and put it back on that same deal you just put it in the slot and then you just line it up and this pin goes in and you can tap it with the hammer you just don't want to do it a lot of times because you're going to uh, damage plastic so there you go guys you can still find these on ebay for a reduced price because a lot of people don't like these because of the low power you can't run a big john boat or anything but on really small kayaks or even small canoes and definitely the small inflatables like i have they're ideal because this only weighs about about eight or nine pounds and the battery i'm using is just the little uh mighty max battery i got this uh on amazon it's a sealed battery so it's easy for them to ship it to the mail um, those old marine trolling batteries you used to kill me. They were so big and heavy. But this will run for as long as I'm going to be out on the water sitting on the bottom of a tiny six foot inflatable. <laughs> but yeah, check these out. They're, uh, I think they're just as good as the Minkata. Uh, Minkota. And you can get them at a lower price. But you just don't get as much power because it's only 12 pound thrust. But for if you've got a little boat, you might need a little motor and uh, these are overlooked a lot of times and they're so simple to work on and uh, mess around with you might want to put them on your radar so guys I've got a bunch of uh, boat and outdoor videos on my channel I've been doing videos for 15 years got over a thousand videos on all sorts of different subjects so you might want to check out some of the stuff I've got I'll leave links to them in the, uh, the video description all right guys take care see you out there